What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Chris Does Crypto. My name, guess what, is Chris. And um, yeah, we're back with another Ripple XRP video. Now, this could change everything for Ripple XRP. We're about to potentially get clarity for Ripple XRP. It could change everything. Look, there's a lot of people that give Ripple XRP a lot of hate in the comments of videos all over social media, but we need to actually break down the data, what is actually going on, the partnerships, and whether we should actually be allocating money to this asset. For me, this is a monstrous opportunity. Hear me out. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, join us in the free Discord, link in the description of the video. Let's delve into it. Let's go. So we're going to start here on coin market cap. XRP is currently at 59 cent one. It's down 0.14% at the time of recording. This is a pre-recorded video. I am actually traveling to Paris for the opening ceremony of the Olympics Games. That might have already happened by the time this video goes out. Uh, thanks to, to BitGet. Really appreciate them inviting me to Paris. And um, look, if you are not trading with BitGet, check out the link down in the description of the video. Some great bonuses for signing up. But look, um, why do we want to talk about XRP? It's not one that I often talk about. XRP price activity rise as Ripple's CEO says he expects legal resolution very soon. So look, we are expecting the lawsuit to come to an end very, very soon. And what does this really actually mean for Ripple XRP? For me, it means that it's going to be the first altcoin to have clarity. Now, we have seen Bitcoin get its spot ETF. We've seen the approval of the Ethereum spot ETF, although it hasn't gone live at the time of recording this video. It might be live by the time this video is aired. But, you know, whilst I'm sat here now, XRP is on the verge of getting clarity and no other altcoin has. That gives XRP a big, huge legal push forward, right? It gives the ability potentially for investors to be able to invest, you know, particularly US investors, invest in Ripple XRP, knowing that it's not a security. Um it's it, it's huge. It's a it's a big move forward, a step forward for investors. So for me, it's something that we shouldn't take lightly. And um yeah, I think that this sets up Ripple XRP to potentially get his own spot ETF in the future, maybe in 2025. So look, personally, I'm allocating more of my funds to Ripple's XRP because I think that actually we're on the cusp of something very, very special for this crypto asset. But you can let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. But, you know, that's not all. I don't think I'm alone. When I read articles like this, XRP news, whale buy 48 million coins after in re-ripple lawsuit development. So basically, whales are hearing what I'm hearing, what you're hearing, that the lawsuit is on the verge of having a, resol you know, uh, a resolution, right? And because of that, we're seeing whale activity doing what I'm talking about. They're investing, right? And um, for me, this is a uh, a huge opportunity and whales are seeing it in the same way they're allocating more funds to ripple xrp the question is do they know some, something we don't do they know what's about to happen do they know when it's going to happen are we right on the cusp for something very very special for ripple xrp i don't know the answer you can let me know your thoughts your opinions in the comments below but i think that we are very very close to you know seeing a resolution here we're very very close to seeing ripple xrp you know see some tremendous price discovery and uh 
yeah, like could we see banks actually utilizing Ripple XRP? Could we see everything go on the blockchain? I think we're close, but we still need that privacy layer, in my opinion. We got 184 million XRP in 24 hours. What is happening? Two major crypto exchanges have witnessed staggering XRP withdrawals in the past 24 hours. This is a really positive sign for Ripple XRP. For me, again, it's just another sign that people are investing and they're thinking more long term. You don't want to be keeping crypto on an exchange unless you're willing to sell it. So if you're not planning on selling it, what do you do? You self-custody, you take it off the exchanges. And that is what we're seeing happen with Ripple XRP. We're seeing people take it off the exchanges, reducing the amount that is available for sale and on exchanges, meaning that the price is likely to continue to increase. For me, this is tremendous to see. Now, look, I mentioned that I believe Ripple XRP is likely to get a spot ETF in the future. A lot of people will argue that that's not the case, but I think that it's positioned very, very well. If you consider, you know, people talking about Solana getting a spot ETF, Solana hasn't actually been given. Uh, I guess, uh, any legal clarity that it is not a security. It's very centralized in comparison to something like Ripple XRP. Um, but people are talking positively uh, about it getting a um, spot ETF. You could even argue that Ethereum, you know, is in a very similar position. I'm not alone in my thoughts when it comes to Ripple XRP potentially getting its own spot ETF. Brad Garlinghouse, um, you know, he works and obviously you know, one of the, the, the co-founders of, you know, Ripple. He foresees XRP, Solana, Cardano, ETFs. And he talks about this at Consensus 2024. So, you know, I talked about this before Bitcoin got its uh, spot ETF approval. I said that I expect you know, uh, the Bitcoin spot ETF to be approved, Ethereum spot ETF uh, to happen shortly after. Uh, I said that that was inevitable. I then went on to highlight before any of this has, has sort of come to fruition, uh, before anybody started talking about it, I said, expect a Solana spot ETF, an XRP, a Cardano, um, Chainlink, for example, is another one that I've called out. I think all of these are going to get spot ETFs. Brad Garlinghouse, um, you know, is is kind of agreeing with what I'm saying. Um, these people want to be at the forefront, but if you want to be ahead of everybody, including Brad and you know the rest of the guys in the crypto space, you need to subscribe to Chris Does Crypto, Cheeky Crypto, and join us in the free Discord. There's no one better. Uh, you know, I feel very very confident in saying that. But look, you know, um, other reasons why we could potentially get a spot ETF for Ripple XRP is just how integrated they are with the institutions already, the banking sectors, Santander uh, already partnered with uh, Ripple. You got the Canadian Imperial Bank uh, of Commons, um, also you know uh, banks in India, Brazil, um, Singapore, um, Canada, China, the UAE, the UK. Uh, Australia, Sweden, Japan, Thailand, the list goes on. They've got so many partners um, and people utilizing, I say people, institutions utilizing their technology. It uh, doesn't necessarily always touch XRP as a, a crypto asset, but, you know, they're so integrated. I think it is inevitable that it happens. They've got some really big institutional partners that, you know, I didn't even name. And um, yeah, for me, it's right up there. I think the biggest opportunities in the crypto space right now are altcoins that haven't, you know, got an ETF, a spot ETF just yet, but, you know, are likely to get one. Real world assets, um, you know, as a, a sector is, you know, for me, a quadrillion dollar market. And uh, you've got to be having some exposure there, in my opinion. Obviously, it's just my opinion. Everybody's got an opinion. Um, so take it with a pinch of salt. But um, the other one is uh, compliant privacy. You know, you need a compliant privacy layer uh, that you can 
mask, unmask your, your data. You need this for businesses. You need it for banks. You need it for the medical sector. The list goes on. You don't really want people seeing what you're purchasing. You don't really want people seeing your medical records. Uh, and you need, you know, your identity layer as well. So there's a, a lot of things still needed in the blockchain space. We're so early. Um, but for me, uh, you know, there's just so many opportunities. It's about knowing where to deploy your capital. Uh, and that is something that I want to, you know, help people with. You know, I want to open people's eyes, give them a different perspective on the, the market compared to all these other influencers. I want to tell you just how I see it. You know, it's up to you what you do, how you deploy your capital. I'm not a financial advisor. I treat this purely as entertainment purposes only. Take what I say with a pinch of salt. It's just my opinion. Everybody's got one. You do you. I'm going to do me but ultimately we'll all be successful with investing in cryptocurrency thanks for watching take care and i will catch you in the next one